Hello and welcome to the championship race of Truck NIS. It's been a long season. We've gotten started all the way back in February and uh, made it all the way to Phoenix here. We are in the final four and we are just about to do qualifying for the championship race. So, gonna put my queue setup in before I forget. Thank you so much to Daniel for providing the setup here. And um, for most of the races this season, so much appreciation to him for helping out. Um, get the queue set up in. There we go. And uh, I guess let's not waste any time. We'll go into further detail and I'll remind you who we are up against today for the championship race. Hopefully I can get the queue done right. Very, very important, so pardon me, I'm probably going to go silent here for a minute. Green flag, green Just flag. Two minutes left, two minutes to go. Okay, here comes your first time black. Could have been a little bit better there, but not terrible. One more lap. All right, this is going to be the one lap that counts because we had to have that run up to the line. P3. So seven one one. I think I'll take it. Best I was able to do in practice with uh, active reset and everything was a five six one. So seven, not terrible. I'm happy to at least put a solid lap in. Um, our competitors here today, two of the three are ahead of us right now. Dylan on pole, looking for the championship. We've got Ryan Carwile, he's P2, starting off here. And uh, that could change, of course. Still time got Mitch in here as well. He is not in the championship four, but he puts in a solid lap ahead of us. As we are holding on to P4 at the moment. And then the final competitor we are up against today for the championship is Nick himself. Nick Neben, host of the league and final competitor in the championship hunt today. So we will do a little practice pit stop there. And uh, this is going to be a real, it's going to be real tough. Um, those two guys, I think, much better than I am uh, here in the trucks. And uh, I have yet to win a race this season. And if I were to win today, it would be the one and only win I get. Um, loud and clear, Thomas. So, I'm going to do my very best. I've been practicing a ton. We're going to get the race set up in here. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm actually going to do some laps here in a warm-up because, as you can see, it's nighttime now. It takes it, it's clear. And uh, very nice of Dylan to put the race setup reminder in. It would really stink for anyone to uh, lose out because of that, especially the... Those of us in the championship hunt. Cast off the load. Go high. It's been a long time coming here for this to pay off. I am so thankful just to have made the championship four. Only oh wow, it's very loose. Um, only one to have made it without getting a win this season. I got there uh, through consistency and um, regular season championship on points gave me a whole bunch of playoff points that allowed me to make my way through the playoffs into um, into where I am now oh. the setups on edge here but it's got lots of turn and that's what we'll need we'll need to uh, 
everything we can get out of this thing. It's fast. I've just got to remain disciplined, disciplined, and uh, not spin the thing. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be real tough. All I get, all I can really do here is give it my best. Just want to say good luck, everybody. Uh, yeah, just. Good luck, have fun with it, make it entertaining. I'll post the video or the broadcast after, but have fun with it, boys. Thank you to Kay. He's been a strong competitor all season. Made it to the round of... Do they have six in trucks? I can't remember. I think it was, yeah, six. Round of six. Um, Just the previous round and the previous race at Homestead. It's time. 150 laps luck, here in Good Phoenix. Luck, we're starting P4. Where did uh, Nick start? Nick is starting in uh, 11. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. 150 laps. We can just make it to halfway, which I uh, know we can't. We were, we're going to divide this into 50, it looks like. We expect to be fighting for the podium. Session last lap. Thank you, Crew Chief, but we are uh, going to need to fight for the win here because... Unless, uh, unless Mitch or Ryan Thompson, who was very fast in practice, can pull it off, we're going to have to win this race in order to win the championship. So we're aiming for one, P1, as uh, far off as that may feel. P4 is not a terrible starting spot, though. That's what we're going to go for. We, oh, we can make it halfway, can't we? So we're going to have to make it halfway. That's the plan. Time to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. Closed. Pit road is closed. I need to know what gear we're starting on. We're not going green. Not okay, Nick going gonna green. Nick gonna extend Hang the costume. We're not going green. Not going or the pre race here. That's smart since uh, we might not be able to get to uh, get all lined up because of the layout of the track here. Understandable. I'm gonna save some fuel though, since we will need to make it to one or 75. That would get us exactly to halfway. That's what we're gonna need to do. Could be cautions though, and that could throw uh, our plans for a loop. There were some concerns about concerns about a smaller field here today. I think we got 29 in here because I think 28 left. I think Cabe is not actually in the race either, though. I think he's broadcasting. One left to green. Though I could be wrong, so. That's what we got going on there. What gear are we starting in? It's like second gear start. Start zone for leader, no server. So are we supposed to go to, uh, go all the way to the Geico restart zone? Is that what that means? I assume so. So you got this awkward situation here where, uh, pace car's off at Phoenix. Real early, so. Going way down low. Not gonna go quite down as far. The yellow flag is out. That's not what we want. Why are we got getting a caution already? Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car. Oh my god, I am so sorry. We think the spun off. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Something happened. Probably something to do with the dog leg. So many different well, things that, that can go wrong here. For me. That was fun. Tell me Nick is not caught in that or anything. Okay, wasn't sure where it happened. Oh. Seven. Shouldn't be any question about uh, who can make it halfway now. I wouldn't think. 
I was just trying to cut the dog leg a little. I didn't mean to hurt the guy. Yep, sounds like it was a dog leg issue. So immediate caution here in the championship race. I don't think this is going to be a wreck fest or anything, though. Highly doubt that. Once we start getting going, I bet that uh, things clean up a whole bunch. Nick cleaning some black flags for guys because it happened so early. Pit road's open. Pits are open. All right, so pretty much just going to restart exactly where we were. Don't think too much has changed. Hopefully two to green here. We can get this started. We've waited long enough for this championship race. Guess a couple more minutes isn't so bad, though. Here's the two to green. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. It's closed. Guess I'd better uh, be pretty safe with this fuel. Maybe uh, the calculator's a little off. You never know. But end up burning more fuel than it expects. So we'll continue clutching a little bit. With this caution added into the mix, we'll probably end up coming in about uh, lap 76, 77 or so. Line up on the Still go for kind of an undercut a little bit, but of course uh, our plans could change, depending on how things are looking. Would love to at least uh, <laughs> lead a lap or something in the championship race, say that I was there. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. They're side by side up ahead. Get some laps in. Try not to push it too hard. It definitely can be loose on the cold tires, so we're gonna watch out for that. Whoa! I almost got the wall there, maybe. Hmm. 
I'm taking the dog leg all day. I don't want to leave that time on the table. I'm going to need all of it I can get. Side by side for the lead, maybe up there. Is leading the race. Sorry about that, Frank. We're green now, though. No immediate caution. That's all good, man. I had to check up too. Really like to get by him. It's not letting it happen though. Right, Dylan's right. just driving away and I hate it. blinking a little bit. Uh, Threw me off for a second. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. Car inside. Oh, why are we fighting so hard on lap 14? I want the spot, but I really don't want to watch Dylan just drive off and get the championship here. Got a second and a half lead almost. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Caution. He's closed right now. I wonder what happened now. Oh, look at Never mind. I'm so sorry for getting the back either. I was looking in my mirror and when I looked down, there was your bumper. I'm sorry. What we do here? We got three sets of tires. We gotta do the opposite of uh, Dylan, I think. Or that's Mitch in the lead. Dylan's the one blinking. Nice car is out. All right, a guy I don't remember I seeing in very many races. Just so. Apparently self-spun. Oh my god. Pete Road is now open. I really hope Dylan doesn't blink out. That would be such a huge bummer. It's too early. We can't come in. Hey, Ryan or Colton, how's my nose look? <laughs> Trying to see. Catch that 62. Car. Looks fine to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, I feel a little more comfortable if that's Mitch out there in the lead then, instead of Dylan. I thought Dylan was the one pulling away with it. Still, obviously, Dylan in front of us, but maybe we'll have a better shot. I'm going to start on the inside here.
Really hope Dylan's able to get his situation figured out. Don't want any factors other than uh, all of us giving it our all on an even playing field to determine the championship. Four course yellow, pits are open. Where has Nick ended up? He's in seventh right now, so he's moving forward. He often does. He finds his way to the front over time with strategy and good long run pace. Road is closed. We're under he knows how to get closed. there at the end. You can't ask Dylan to like pull over anything here, so we just have to hope his connection hangs on and race him the best we can. You can't ask someone to pull over after a whole season, so we're just gonna do our best to identify where he is if he continues blinking and give extra room as necessary. Hopefully don't have any issues and can race just fine. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Nice coming in this lap. We plan to pit about lap 79, probably. After these couple of cautions. We can get there just fine, I think. Somebody said, actually, it's kind of close. Closer than I thought. Get ready. Going green. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Dylan's still blinking, unfortunately. Hopefully no weird situations in the dog leg where I don't know where he is or anything. This could be an, a good opportunity for us. Green flag, green flag. The next car's the leader. Car outside. Clear outside. Great jump. And some clean air up ahead. Caution. Yellow flag. Caution. These guys need to stop wrecking. I'm trying to have a race. Now I've got to start on the outside of the front row. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Catch the pace car. Pit road is now open. <clears throat> I mean, Nick. Uh, Nick said, you know, we we've been working at this for about a year now. This season, let us race. Let's have a good race and let us battle it out up here. Not really had much of a chance yet, but still, obviously, lots of time. Who's starting on the outside here? Sucks. It does, but uh, you just got to make the best of it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just never can tell if you can cut down or not. I never cut down on a restart on when I'm on the outside. Yeah, same here. We're going to have to That's do a lot of looking to the left. I don't want to really just give up too much time. But I'm not going to cut down unless I can see them down there and know what they're up to. And Nick will make fun of me on the video. <laughs> well, I'll be there with you then. I'm sure we can pull it together, right? I'm, I hope so. Really stink for a uh, for our final finale here to uh, be a wreck fest. Phoenix really shouldn't be that bad. I mean, I know we got the dog leg and everything, but it's it's not Bristol. It's not Martinsville. I think we can have ourselves a good race here.
vehicle. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. So when do we pit now? I had said about 79 before. So we'll do like 81. I don't know, 82. It's getting trickier to know. Road is Looking at our fuel, we're probably just going to go to the end of the tank, it's if it's closed. saying we can go to about 79. That continues to surprise me a little bit. I think we are burning more fuel than expected. So I'm going to continue saving. Really hope we can get a good jump here. As stated, <laughs> it's uh, really tough to be on the outside on a restart here. Sorry about getting in the back of you, but Yeah, we are just getting stacked up there. I mean, I, I guess I'm real glad we're up here. Gone, so I tried to blow up. Nick in front of it, it as well, so he has yet. thankfully not been caught in any of it, I uh, it assume. Was a mess, Nick. I was trying to pedal it because the 20 was trying to dive bomb in, and it, you know how it goes. Yeah, I was just trying to stay off of you. One to go. Nick, come by. Line up on the outside at the end of this lap. Yeah, I was just not ready to put out slip pass. Alright, let's see uh, how good we can get a jump. I mean, three wide at 22. Yeah, makes sense. Yellow back shooting that three wide. I'm like, that's stupid. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Boy, it's tough to know where to be. I think we're clear. Can't quite tell where Dylan is, but I think we're clear. B2. Great restart. I'm very happy with that. To be able to hang on to P2 like that. Yeah, thanks, man. I thought that was in her caution. We don't need to win the race if Mitch is going to win it. We can finish P2 and still win the championship. As funny as that would be to go the whole entire season without a win. It says I hit you, Frank, but I don't think I did, so I'm sorry about that. Hey, it's all good. We saved it. We'll get to last game. Scared the shit out of me. How cool to at least be in position right now. The race were to end right now. To win the championship. Let's we'll see how, uh, how long we can hold on to it. Second, I worried that Dylan <laughs> lagged out there. Really looks like uh, it's still trying to do it to him. Point four, point three back right now. Ooh, it's on edge. A little tough to deal with, but it's fast.
Interesting they're not taking the uh, dog leg as hard back there. To me, that's just free time, free real estate down there. I will be taking it every lap of this race, as long as I can get down there safely. Thank you, sir. I've also got my brake bias all the way to 57, which is lower than I'll normally put the truck. No problem. But I really want that turn in on entry. Really bad. Absolutely crucial to keep that right front happy here. Come on back, Frank. Thank you very much. Could be uh, killing the tires at the moment. That could be why uh, we're out here, but... I don't know if I would even be able to uh, prevent that backing off, so we're just going to stay out here. Be in a good position for as long as we can be. Kind of sticking at point four back. Seems to be right about where he is. Had a little bit of a higher entry there. That might be a little bit better, I'm not sure. Mitch pulling away. Now one might be catching up to us a little bit. Ooh, is it over yet? Did we win? That up feels fantastic. Daniel did a great job. Love how much turn I'm getting through the corners here. The gap to Dronowski in front is now not my tight. Counteract my tendency to overdrive everything I sit in. <laughs> if uh setup's got turn. Mitch kind of hanging out there about the uh, same distance. Maybe pulling away a little bit more still. Guess I better be glad he's not in the championship for. He hasn't. Uh, he wasn't able to make all the races this year. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have been.
They were not letting up back there by any means. Holding on strong. I can tell whenever I have a subpar corner or two. Until he gains on us. Mitch driving away. Uh, get a little bit of the apron there, that wasn't great. I don't think we lost too much time though. Okay, Colton, give you still Dylan's still back there. Flipping out with his uh, internet connection. Good consistency. Keep it coming. Wonder what our fuel's looking like. I'm afraid to check. I don't want to spend any time not driving optimally. <laughs> as optimally as I can, anyway. About 34, it said. We'll just have to react to if Dylan catches us, which he might be. He's getting a little closer, I think. Sorry in the chat. No caution though. I think he's got better long run. He's just inching closer. In front is now Cars handling feels pretty decent. Maybe a little bit loose. Your last lap time was at twenty-eight point one. Almost chased it up into the wall. Can't do that, not even once. In a very long green run, that's good. I knew we could do it. Mitch, just a tiny bit. Not much, he could just be running to our pace as well. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. Oh, 
are rejoining. I guess we had a pit stop. Whoa, big loose for Mitch. Wow, that was a big moment. I'm going to gain several tenths on him here. He nearly uh, got sideways there. He had to correct that quite a bit, it looked like. Go ahead, Nick. Still went only point three behind, though. Thank you, sir. Starting to push a little up in this corner. I gotta be careful not to overdo that. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Loose. That lap time was twenty eight point two. Chase it up a little bit there. Didn't cut as much of the dog leg as I usually do. There's only point two behind at this point. Traffic coming up. Cop times are pretty consistent. How's this gonna work? Car outside. That's our exit. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Slow us down a little bit. I think Dylan got through there easier. Alright, get past them. They do a great job holding their lines, letting us by safely. Excellent driving all throughout the field in this series. For the most part.
1.4 back to Dylan. Loose on throttle, that's for sure. To so be careful with that. You've just done a twenty-eight point two. Feeling it's approached quite quickly. Oh my god, they're getting a wall ahead. Holy cow. Outside. Outside, clear. Where's our entry there? Okay. Eleven laps of fuel left, that's much more than I expected. We'll come in a lap, I don't know, 79. We're at Mitch. Oh, this is intense. Trying to get around on him. Not quite yet, though. The lap time was at twenty-eight point three. Uh, Dylan's right behind us. Got some pit stops happening. Getting loose as we go down to the dog leg. 
not great. Not a great thing to experience. Dylan goes high, he's looking for a run. Does he get it? Not enough. We've got about five laps of fuel. Okay. Don't have the wow. rear tires that he does, I don't think. Two minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. When do we pit in? Good, good question. Question for any of the guys who stayed out so far. Uh, how long is it like a fuel run? Seventy, maybe longer, but we had caution lap. Outside, right, clear outside if you want it. Look out for the All right, we're pitting here. I want to be the first one in. We'll need to stop again. We're cutting it all the way. Pitting this time, Dylan. Team. All right, Tyler, I'm pitting this time. 67 is pitting this Five, time. Three, two, one. I'm pitting as well. Right here. The lead is pitting now. 6277. All right, gotta have a good launch out of here. Hopefully, you don't end up in too much traffic. All clear. Punch it. Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. The tires are going to be really slippery on the cold, so... Gotta be careful of that. The car in front of us the is front Edwards. Edwards. I think we had ourselves an excellent stop. Undercut there. But we got uh, older tires. We're going to have to hold on. We also need this to go green. Too many things can happen. Five seconds back to Dylan. Don't know where Mitch went. I know he said he was pitting in, though. to not have to battle, not have to pass anybody. Just hit some laps here. Coming up on lap traffic. Why are they too wide? Oh my god, I need you guys to be out of the way. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. Thank goodness. The lead is pitting now. Can't waste any time. Outside. Martin is now in the lead. So those guys behind us are way too fast to waste outside. any time. Clear. It's Nick. 
He pit much earlier even. That 52 is what he says. No! Are you kidding me? You'll be kidding me. Can't pit. Tires are too fresh. What's that going to do to the field? To the running order? We're on the lead lap. <sighs> well, back, yeah, back. The leader, Martin. Yeah, I was about pitting. to give him a lap back. Nick's coming in. He has to. My bad guy. I needed that to go blue. green, man. Yeah. I was in a great position. Fine. I was in such a great position. You gotta be kidding me. I gained so much with that undercut and with having a clean stop. All gone. That's brutal. Car 35. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Okay. It happens though. That is racing, so. Did they come in? They did not. Tires are too new to come in. We only got two more sets, and we're barely past halfway. It's good work for Nick if it goes green to the end, and those tires help him enough. The leader, Thompson, is pitting. Alright, so we will inherit the lead here. Ryan Carwile went in the pits. I'm okay with that. Nick's going to add a lap for the way around. That makes sense. I understand that. Uh, yeah, look at how many people need the wave around. Understandable. It's going to be a 59 lap run to the end, it looks like. First time we will be launching. How many people are on the lead lap? Oh, there's going to be a lot more with the wave round, but... Yeah, a lot of people. One lap to green. 17. Up on the inside. And then all the people in front of us getting our wave around. Catch up, 51, car, hang on, we're not going green, not going green. It's extended caution. Not going green, not going green. Catch up, 51, car. Let the pace car by. Nick Martin lucks out, I think. He's going to be P2. He must have uh, pitted just the exact right time or something. Or he stayed out? Is maybe what happened there? Not entirely sure. He's in P2. That's pretty cool. Ryan Carwile after pitting back in sixth. Won't take him too long to uh, make that back up though. One left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Brett, you're up here in front of me.
Right. We'll maintain our 55. Oh, dog, I should be at the back, I think. Get ready. Going green. No, you should be in front of the wave around, guys. Hey, the car is off. Uh, that's okay, I'm slow, I'll just sit here, it's all good. Okay. Just we'll wait into the uh, restart zone, and we'll just uh, try to get the best jump we can. Yeah, it's because Nick added a lot. Green flag, green flag. Okay, you are the leader. Right. Point four back to Dylan. I missed whenever we had several seconds, but I'll take what we can get. We are still in the lead right now, so you know I am a okay. With that. Man, Dylan's fast though. I'm gonna get on that right rear if I can. I don't know if that's much of a thing in the trucks, but I can only do what I know, I guess. What happened to Ryan Carwile? He just he just disconnected. Yeah, Sorry, Mitch. What happened? What happened to Ryan? He he just got wicked loose on the dog and he get hard down on the inside. Oh. What the for the fuck coming up into traffic? Wow. Crazy. All right. Well, the championship four is down to three, I guess. That is not something I expected to see pop up at the top of the screen. Nick's got fresh tires. He's in third. And I can tell you for a fact he's got a very fast setup in his truck as well. I know he uses Daniel's setups as well. Does he have enough to catch us here? Will this go green to the end? Coming to 51 to go. Still a long, long way. It's catching. Still in behind us. You know we're next. We gotta hope his tires even out eventually. That lap time was twenty seven point five.
missed my angle a little bit there. That lost me a little bit of time. Can't do too much of that. Dylan's catching a little bit. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Man, this race feels like it's going on for eternity. Every lap feels like an hour. Go ahead, Tyler. Thank you, Jim. Much better into that corner than I am. He gains every time. That was a race of protect. Come on, keep the tires on it. Nick has pretty much caught Dylan, but Dylan's catching me. Terrible corner. Not great, not great, not great. That was a 28.0. I need Nick to catch Dylan and then them uh, get stuck in a battle for a while. That would be the best case scenario for me. As of right now though, Dylan just keeps getting closer and closer. getting loose. Uh, that was a bad time for it too. I really needed a good corner. There.
Okay, that was pretty good. Is it over yet? Point two back. Nick has started to fall off a little bit, I think. Oh, I slid, I slid, I slid, I slid. He's here. He's basically here. I'm not talking much, obviously focusing a whole lot right now. Oh, loose, almost drifted up into the wall. faster right now. I am driving so hard to try to keep in front of him though. of that one that was a bad corner. Thank you. Try to get up here, it's 37 for the lucky dog spot. Oh boy, lap traffic coming up. Be a huge factor depending on how we're able to get through that. You gotta kinda keep you around me and get some different strategy. There, so I'm not giving him the lane. No, I never Ryan Thompson it. coming up out of nowhere, apparently. I can only glance at that, but he's in third all of a sudden.
car outside. Clear high. I'll catch him in a bad spot. I don't think Can so. I think he caught him just fine. No problem, man. There is 24 to go. Car is a uh, real light on the final corner, heading to the checkered. That sounds pretty consistent. Let's start finish line, rather. I don't know what happened to Mitch. He was having a great race. Think about that though. Anytime I think about anything other than the line I'm taking, I risk making even the slightest bit of a mistake. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Pit road is closed right now. Catch up. 78. Car. Well, we got a pit. That's not negotiable. Way too many laps on these tires. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind the pace car. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Catch the pace. As if we needed any more twists and turns in this one. lucky dog. We're putting full fuel in this thing to help it turn. Both tires. Both sides of tires. <laughs> to be clear. Look out for the pit speed limit. Alright. We'll need to stop again. Sorry, Shane, didn't think we were that far behind. It's crucial. Cars. Let's get this right. Universe. Pit box team, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Alright, got it stopped. 74.84. He's got a great pit box though. He might be able to inch out in front of us. Move it, move it. Be mindful, you only get him. We got him. That was close. That could have decided the championship right there. It could have. Obviously, we. Uh, I still have to do the laps, but the person that leads off this restart is going to have a major advantage. Thankfully, it's us. Uh, this uh, this opportunity gives me a second to rest my hands a little bit too, gripping the wheel so tight. Reminding everyone to be smart. I really hope this doesn't lead to a rash of cautions, even if that could potentially benefit us. A full tank of fuel, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna be driving hard here. Too few laps left in this one. To worry about tires too much, we have to have this track position. Dylan knows that too. He's starting on the outside. 
That could be very tough for him to get a good restart on. It's our open. That was going to be uh, very close to the finish there. It looked like he was inching toward me. He might have been able to get around me. But we'll never know now. Now we got the late caution. It's going to be 17 to go. One left to green. Going green. You'll Next be lining up on the inside. Nick says good luck. Oof. Can't loop it. Damn, I'm gonna miss it when this is over. Tires are gonna be cold, gotta remember that. About to go green. No yellows, go everybody be smart. The pace car is in. Get to the restart zone and then we're gonna go. Great jump. Push that a little bit more, maybe. I think we're okay. It's loose. That's a good save, Nick. Careful. Yeah, I'm for sure I lost it. Drift up a little bit too far. Okay, bring it down. Good run. Man, he is driving fast. The guy behind has just done a 26.9. Oh. 14 to go coming up. He's only 0.2 behind. Starting to take the dog leg too. Great dance, man. I was at such a slow corner, I thought I hit that just fine. That lap time was 27.1. They kind of protect the bottom there, it looked like he was thinking about diving it in. I'm really not doing great on that final corner. We're inside, but he holds it down there. Coming to 10 to go. Come on. So 
so much better in this corner than I am. Keep it smooth here, I can't overdrive it. It's very easy to overdrive that corner and it ends up slower. Come on, six to go coming up. Not a good corner. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. It's right on my bumper. He might try not to move down low again. It's gonna get a run. He's on the inside. Clear. Oh, don't start blinking. Don't start blinking right now. Are you kidding me? No idea where he is. Thank you, Dan. No problem, man. You're gonna hit everything I've got, man. Three to go. Holding on. Final lap. White flag, nice and smooth. Come on, Colter. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. That lap was a 27.8. No way, man. <laughs> no way. No way this is happening. No way this happened. Yeah! We did it! <laughs> I can't believe it. What? <laughs> Thank you. We got the cheering section here. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Man, I wanted to race up there, but I was. First race win of the season. <laughs> and it's the championship race. Yeah, I backed off to make sure Nick. Got oh my God! I cannot start. believe it. I actually did it. There's a fire alarm going off in our apartment building. <laughs> Not want to get in the middle of that. Oh my God! Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Yes! yes! I can't believe it.
No way that happened, man. Great race. That was awesome. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Colton. Yeah, great job, Colton. Great season, everybody. <laughs> I can't really believe awesome. that. Good job, Colton. Oh, my gosh. Did you just pull a Hamrick? <laughs> yeah, hammered, I pulled the Hamrick. The last race of the season to win it. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know how you guys did that, because I was shaking at the end. Colton, <laughs> Dylan, if you guys want to join the Real Racing World chat and do an interview, I will. Just if you guys want to. No to way. To do, but... That is crazy. <laughs> Thank you to my wife for the loving support. <laughs> oh, man. We did it. We win the championship after, what, nine months of racing? February to November. We finally win a truck series race. And it is the championship race. Unbelievable. Incredible race. Um, awesome job to Dylan. He uh, gave so much pressure. Like I said, that's the hardest I've raced in my life. <laughs> oh my god. I hope uh, he uh, he felt I gave him plenty of room and everything. Whew. I, uh, I held him tight a little bit, but I think fair. I uh, held holding my line and everything. Just had to do everything I could do to keep that pace whenever he got to my inside. Wow. All right. Well, before, uh, <laughs> man, I'm exhausted. Um, before I forget, let's start celebrating. I guess we'll look at the incidents here. Uh, we did have a couple this race. Thankfully, a nice run to the end there. Oh, that looks like uh, a case of expected dog leg and uh, no dog leg to be had that's what happened there on the start so Michael expected uh, Rick to be cutting down low and uh, just was not doing it and uh, that's just you could blame that on Michael for not looking but I think I'm gonna blame New Phoenix for not planting grass there and I think everybody can agree with that oh boy that was a crazy, crazy experience. What a race. Hope everyone enjoyed watching. Here we had a checkup there. That was kind of strange. Almost uh, had some guys stopping out of the corner. I wonder if someone got loose, maybe? Yes. 27 gets loose, and that's just a, an accordion effect there. Thankfully, uh, nothing too bad, I don't think, unless James got some serious nose damage. Hopefully not. Whew. So a little bit of blanking. Still here on lap 11. We're gonna have to skip past Connor, I guess. It looks like he's got some connection issues. Dil we know Dylan had some. Um, I don't think it affected our race at all, though. Hopefully it didn't affect his uh, much at all either. Hopefully he was able to drive how he needed. Um, There's a couple times I wasn't 100% sure where he was, but I just drove how I uh, expected to need to, and uh, it all worked out, so didn't really affect the results at all, I don't think. Here, lap 15, the 21 gets sideways and Shane not able to avoid him. And a little piece of it, a little bite out of that uh, Chips Ahoy there from a Leighton. That stinks. So he'll get a chunk of it. I think uh, this was the first time a Leighton showed up to one of these. Good to see him. He's a really fun guy to race against in the uh, Diet Dr. Pepper series. And he... Looks like gets, he gets a top five here today, even after a little bit of nose damage. So, excellent race from him. Here's your final uh, race order, by the way. I'm sure you already looked at it if you were interested, but uh, Nick gets third, Dylan second, and then we'll see what happened to Ryan later. But that was a huge moment in the race. Because obviously, he is, uh, as one of the championship four. One of the strongest competitors competitors out here, and something must have happened. So, three wide here, and uh, as they're going through the corner pretty slowly, because of that, I assume. A little bit of a checkup from the middle lane, and Nick King not quite ready for it, and we uh, get another just accordion effect out of that corner. We saw that earlier in the race as well. Uh, 
be a little bit of a case. Uh, no, uh, no help breaks, but hard to say. He could have just been sliding through. Dylan, with his connection, we'll skip past a little bit of this. I think this is when it started getting real bad. So we might have to just skip through a little bit of that. Can't believe we pulled that off, man. The one and only race of the season I get a win in this uh, in this series. It is the championship race. Can't believe it. Really, li I literally pulled off the Daniel Hemrick. Same location, <laughs> same story there. That's really funny. I'm not doing a backflip, though. No backflip for me. I will break every bone in my body. So, no backflip. I apologize. I gotta come up with my own, uh, unique celebration. <laughs> so, uh, we gotta skip past a couple of these blinks from Connor and Dylan, it looks like. We know there's been plenty more, uh, accidents, though. I think we might just have to, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna have to go to the cautions, I think. Because otherwise it's gonna be Dylan blinking the whole time. Which, again, thankfully, did not affect, uh... Our ability to race each other um, at least from my end I didn't feel that it did so we'll skip to 78 coming up on just about that time we'll have a couple more blinks I guess we didn't even uh, get to see what the what was the caution we're gonna find out all right you're not the pace car there we go where is the caution Oh. Green flag pit stops. Right. Sometimes I'm not very bright. But we will, we will go a little further because we did have an actual caution not long after the green flag pit stops. Is this it? Yes, it is. So the 27 got loose earlier in that corner. Bites him again there. And uh, about as clean as a, of a spin as you can get. Unfortunately, he still brings out the yellow. He does the pirouette. We might be able to go ahead here normally. Oh no! Rhett loose, corrects it, and that's a broken race truck. Is this what happened to Ryan? What was that? What was that? Okay, so he alt F4s. That didn't look normal. I don't know what that was. Because... I don't remember ever getting loose in that spot. Does he have, like, an equipment issue? Oh, yeah, that's an equipment issue. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, I feel for him, man. Because you can see his wheel, that's not normal. There's no reason he would be turning to the left there. Unless he had some sort of equipment issue. I hate to see that, man. In the championship race, and any time, that really sucks. Lap 107. Looks like a wall hit coming up. Yes, sir. Nothing too bad for him, though. We're going to have to skip ahead to the next caution once again. And it comes about lap 129. In fact, uh, we'll go back another lap or two, make sure we get to see it. Oh no, so it was Connor's connection, but not uh, not a blink. It was just because his connection wasn't so good that it caused um, worse net code than you would normally get. It wasn't even close to him, and uh, that sends him around. Very unfortunate there. So moving along, James catching back up to the field. Almost to the end of this thing, we've got a about 11 to go at this point. Chain will find just a hint of wall. Some incredible racing here with Dylan. Blinking a little bit still, but uh, hopefully I did an alright job giving him room. 
Because obviously I'm racing really hard, but gotta be fair. And so uh, I take the... Uh, I might have scared him a little bit there. Um, I was looking to the left, making sure I didn't run into him. And uh, I was just going to take as much as I could, really, of the dog leg. But maybe he saw me coming and was like, oh no. Because <laughs> it looks like he turns to the left a little bit, but there's a lot of room there. I think we were okay. And uh, we are able to clear him there, I believe. Yes. It was that one, uh, that one lap where he got to our inside uh, in, in this corner coming up that I thought was going to be the end of us. Uh, in fact, we will go back and look at it because um, he got to our inside on that corner that I know he's much better than us in. Was that here? Yes. And so I'm thinking like this could be it. That might be it right here. So I, uh, I held him a, a bit tight, but I don't cross down into his lane or anything. He races me very clean, as he always has. Um, always great racing with him. We are both giving each other room. And uh, you can just hold off in that second lane here at Phoenix. Track position just absolutely crucial. Thankfully, uh, that's what we had was track position. And you can see he's doing everything he can. He's driving really hard. He wants the championship. I think he gets tight there, though. And uh, I remember we had a little bit of a gap. I didn't say anything because I was in freak-out mode. <laughs> but uh, we had about .4 all of a sudden. I'm like, is this really happening? I cannot believe it. And uh, we actually pull it off. Can you believe it? Championship. That is amazing. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We will go ahead and look at the race results here as we watch the checkered flag fly. All right. So we'll look at the race results, and then we will look at the championship standings, the final standings, to see where everybody ended up. And uh, call it a season. So here are your race results. Fastest lap goes to Dylan. That does not surprise me at all. And uh, you can see we were running hard on that last run. All of our fastest laps there, right at the end. He was a bit faster, I think. But we had the track position and were able to hold him off. And uh, don't get me wrong, it wasn't easy. Wow, 63 uh, laps led under Mitch is 71. We never saw what happened to Mitch. We need to go look and see uh, what happened to Mitch. That is going to be important. Because obviously he was winning the darn thing for uh, quite a while. So what happened? We've got lap 114. He's in 16th. Did he give himself a penalty, perhaps? Is that what we're looking at? And uh, just have to call it? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Um, he'll probably say it, uh, or at least I will find out. He'll probably say something in the Discord, perhaps. But um, what was happening around this time? What place were we in? We were in first, so something must have happened. He must have gotten a penalty, and uh, he just called it. Because uh, he was back there all of a sudden, a lap or more down, and uh, just called it. I had no idea um, he had a penalty or anything because you see uh, 16th at this point while we're up there in first. And uh, it looks like it must have happened. Yep. Sometime. Maybe uh, it was just a poorly timed caution. That could be it too. He did not get a lap counted right here. What's that about? Oh, he's pitting in. That must be where he got the penalty. He must have uh, sped? Entry or exit? No telling. I don't think we're going to be able to tell from here. But wanted to take a look, see if we could see anything, because uh, he might have been the winner of the race otherwise. He's pretty much dominating before whatever happened happened. And uh, bringing up the league standings, final standings right now. 
I mean, while I do that, I'll go ahead and put it on screen right away as we navigate to the K5 Championship and the 2023 NIS Truck Series. There it is, officially. We get our one win of the whole season right there. And uh, that will put us as the champion. Dylan, your runner-up, and Nick with the third place finish by finishing, I think, fourth in the race, if I'm not mistaken. Third. He did finish third. Okay. I couldn't remember if he or Ryan Thompson finished uh, third. And uh, Ryan Carwile, of course, had uh, whatever issue happened, uh, very unfortunately. Scott, Gavin, Cabe, Ryan, Thompson, Tyler, and Matthias, your top ten. I'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit because it's been a long season. Lots of competitors. All since February. So shout out to everybody that uh, joined. And made, a, made it a great season. We got, what, 118 people? Different people? That's awesome. All right, so that will do it then. Thank you for watching. We did it. We did it. We won the championship. I can't believe it. I still uh, still doesn't feel real, but you know, I, I care a lot about this because this league is awesome. Thank you so much to Nick for putting it on. Um, love racing with this group of drivers, and uh, that's why it means so much to me because I know they're tough competitors, and uh, you know. It's a lot of fun, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.